Hi, I'm Abigail Birch and I'm an illustrator based in South East London. I've teamed up with Pink Lady Apples to show you how to make a super simple homemade Christmas card. You'll need some thick heavyweight card, a pencil, a black ink pen, a rubber. This is a bone folder which we'll use to fold the paper later, but if you haven't got that, then we can use a lolly stick. Some pom-poms, some all-purpose adhesive and something to apply it with. And finally, a ruler. So to begin with, I would just sketch out my character. It can be really rough, I wouldn't worry about making mistakes because we can always refine it later. We're going to give him a little Christmas hat. As he's a mole, we're going to give him some chunky glasses. He's going to have to have a Christmas jumper. There's a little collar here. He's going to be holding my favourite, which is a Christmas pudding. For his trousers, we're just going to give him some little jazzy check trousers. And then finally, we're just going to give him some little pointy boots with some laces. So once you're happy with your sketch, we we'll just need to prepare the card. You need to make sure that it's basically going to be strong enough to stand up on its own. To keep it simple, we're just going to fold it in half. So you just take your ruler, and measure halfway, and just a little dot that end, and then a little dot this end. And then taking either your lolly stick, or if you've got bone folder, create a crease so that we can fold it neatly in half. Keeping the ruler in place, I would just pull the paper up slowly and start with the edge of the lolly stick, pressing it against that ruler edge, and then take the edge and run it smoothly down there very faintly trace with a pencil or design onto your final card. I'm going to use a light box, but a window will work as well. So I always like to use two weights of pen. So I'll start off with just doing the finer detail before I get going with the brush pen. I'm just going to go in and then start adding the thicker lines. If you haven't got a brush pen, you could use just um, a felt tip or something. I've just done it black and white today, but you could definitely add colour. Don't worry if it's not perfect. I think that's the charm in hand-drawn. I always like to give my characters really pointy shoes. And then we're ready to start filling him in. If you're using a felt tip or a fine liner, you might want to try and find a thicker nipped pen if you can, just so it doesn't take so long. And there we go. So once you've left it to dry for a little bit, we're going to start putting the pom-poms on. Get your glue and put a big blob of it on a little palette. We'll just start working out where we want the different colours to go because we want an even spread. So the main thing when you're laying these out is just that it looks even, really. And then once you're happy with the jumper, I'm just going to add to his hat and then I might also do one on the Christmas pudding. Next you'll need your cocktail stick. So the main thing with this is that to get the right amount on the stick because you don't want a huge blob that ends up spurting outside the edges. Leave them to dry and then just to finish off we can do a couple of little confetti strands. Because we made it half of A4, so A5, you'll just need a slightly larger than A5 envelope to fit it in. And just be careful as you slide it in. And you're ready to go.